Imagine a world where the divine is everywhere, yet depicted nowhere. A spiritual path where belief is felt, but never framed. For centuries, humanity has tried to visualize the divine using art, oftentimes depicting God in human form in hopes to relate to him. From the towering statues of Greek gods, to the intricate carvings of Hindu temples, to the majestic Renaissance art of Leonardo da Vinci and Michelangelo, physical representations have been a bridge to spirituality. But in the diverse tapestry of spiritual paths and religions, Islam stands out for its distinct absence of any physical representations or anthropomorphizing of God or aspects of the divine. Why does this centuries-old faith diverge from a tradition so deeply ingrained in human history? Assalamu alaikum, my brothers and sisters. I want to make it very clear that by no means am I intending to insult or dog on any other religion or spiritual path. I'm simply using them to contrast the aspect of them using art to depict God in a way that Islam is very unique in that it doesn't do this. There are no physical representations in man form of God or Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wasallam, the prophet, or any other aspects of divinity in human form. The human mind is a canvas of imagination, painting pictures of the unseen to make sense of the unknown. Throughout history, civilizations have crafted gods in their own image, seeking a tangible connection with the divine. But this journey of visualization is filled with traps and pitfalls. When the divine is boxed into human imagination, it's not just the infinite made finite, it's the sacred made ordinary. The risk is that the symbol overshadows the essence of what it's trying to represent. You see, the map is not the territory. The human mind is inherently symbolic. We attach meanings to images, often allowing these symbols to shape our understanding. In spiritual contexts, this can lead to a version of God that is more a reflection of human culture and creativity than the divine essence itself. The danger here is not just simple misrepresentation, but the potential to limit our spiritual understanding of what is physically depicted. When worship is directed at these representations, it risks crossing into idolatry, where the symbol becomes the object of worship, overshadowing its intended purpose. Take for example, if I asked an average Christian in the street, what is God? They probably won't say it outright, but the first thing that will come to their mind most likely is an old man with a big white beard and white robes in the sky. That's just the image that has been portrayed through art of God, and because the human mind is so symbolic, that is the first thing they'll think of when they think of God. Whether or not they say it or not, most likely that's what their mind will conjure up. Islam's approach is revolutionary. It steps away from the norm, embracing an unseen, unportrayed God. Islam teaches that Allah is beyond human comprehension or understanding. This isn't about negating or minimizing the divine presence, but elevating it beyond the confines of physical form. The Qur'an does not describe Allah in physical terms. Instead, it speaks of attributes, merciful, compassionate, all-knowing. This abstraction isn't a lack of understanding, but a recognition of the limitless nature of the divine. In Islamic worship, the lack of physical symbols channels the believer's focus inward towards a more profound spiritual connection. It's not about seeing with the eyes, but perceiving with the heart. This approach also unites Muslims worldwide, transcending cultural, racial, and linguistic barriers. In Islam, a believer in Indonesia, a worshiper in Morocco, and a pilgrim in Mecca 
share the same image-free vision of the divine. In a masjid, in a mosque, the lack of icons means that the focus is ultimately on Allah regardless of the believer's background. This uniformity in diversity is a testament to the universal nature of Islamic worship. Now you might say, well Habibi, that sounds boring. Like Islam is too serious. What, you're saying there's no art in Islam? Art is a very powerful form of human expression and creativity. I don't want to give up my art. Well, you see, Islam does have art. And this art is used to depict the divine in subtle ways. The way that Islam uses art to depict spirituality is through Islamic geometric art with its intricate patterns and endless repetitions. It's not merely an aesthetic choice. It represents something far deeper, a symbolic portrayal of the divine. These geometric patterns consist of repeating motifs that extend beyond the physical space they occupy, suggesting infinity. This is symbolic of God's infinite nature without beginning or end. These patterns are meticulously organized, showcasing order and harmony. This can be seen as a metaphor for the orderly and harmonious nature of the universe, which in Islamic belief is a creation of God, of Allah. The precision and balance in these patterns reflect the perfection and intricacy of God's creation. The complexity and beauty of this art can really put you down into a meditative state. Tracing your eyes on the patterns that go on infinitely can help bring in some dhikr, some remembrance of God using this physical stimuli in your eyes. The interlocking patterns symbolize the interconnectedness of all creation, reflecting the Islamic principle of Tawheed or the oneness of God. Just as these patterns intertwine seamlessly, so too is the creation unified under the divine will. In embracing the unseen and avoiding any anthropomorphizing of God or divinity, Islam offers a window into a world which doesn't allow your mind to get hooked on symbols or pictures or icons, keeping the divine of God of Allah in the unseen, the metaphysical. Because when we minimize God in the creation of a human, when we make God a man, that is what our mind will hook on and we will lose the essence of spirituality. I believe that all religions and all spiritual paths have kernels of universal truth. I just believe that Islam really pushes through all the distractions, all the icons, all the things that can pull you away from true worship of the Creator. And this is a key principle in the essence of Islam that this channel is hoping to dive into and to unveil. I hope to see you again next time. Masalama.